Hello everyone welcome to this episode and in this episode we are going to see a 3D workflow in DaVinci Resolve Studio 16 let's begin <laughs> So let's see the creative 3D workflow of stereoscopic in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all you need to have left eye footages and right eye footages so that you can merge and modify it in DaVinci as well as color grade in 3D footages. So let me show you what are the controls and how you can merge or how you can have left eye view and the right eye view merged. So let's begin one by one. So let's head over to the media page over here. So in the media page, sorry, media pool. Here I have the footages, uh, left uh, left eye footages and the right eye footage. So what I can do, uh, what I did is uh, in in the master section, I created a new bin, three new bins. One is the left eye one, one is the right eye one, one is the output which DaVinci gives. So I imported. The left eye one here it selected both okay so I have drag on the left here and the right here then I go to the master settings and here I'll click on I'll right click and go to stereo 3d sync okay here you have to choose the folder which which is the left eye which is the right eye which uh, which is the folder which you want to export like the 3d one not export just uh, like output so let me just then it will show as done to clip sync but whenever you don't have a 3d shot like left eye and the right eye it may uh, not take the shots because uh, it may not be having uh, similarities or if you are if you are manipulating uh, like uh, for for example a single image two times see for like this I've added to the folders okay left folder right folder okay but where uh, when I just just saying the same left eye when I do it just click on sync it will sync but it may not show the depth which you want which you have recorded from your camera the 3d cameras so make sure you don't mess up things while doing this process okay Chalo. And we can go ahead towards the color tab and here you can see the 3D option. By the way, this is available in uh, Resolve Studio but not in normal 16. Okay. So here after uh, clicking here we get these many options. Okay. Here this is the eye and this is a vision. And here is some of the controls which we can do like swap and copy and here stereo alignment like the depth and all okay then color matching which i'll be explaining soon this point first let's come over to here what is this this footage is uh pre-built for 3d so it might be good and then here you can control pan tilt zoom and all if you might end up uh, like for example both the ca i know both the cameras will be in sync but sometimes what happened means uh, one might be tilted little up and one might be tilted little down or zoomed in to compensate that you can adjust it over here even the pitch and the yaw okay here you can do it and uh, it might be useful for uh, many purposes like if you want to be creative in some ways if you want to move a little bit you can do that like that okay then now let's come to the okay this is the left eye one the right eye one which is different and then let's come over to the vision over here so in the vision you can see here as if it's mono it will look like this just a normal image nothing special about it and all but when you switch to stereo here the difference will be uh, there and the output are this many okay which is side by side top and bottom line by line odd 
line by line even checkboard analograph analograph w uh, black and white analograph color difference none okay i am missing the option of interlacing i don't know why uh but i'll figure it out in the next episode upcoming episodes okay and then uh seeing over here i have added analograph color which is the red and the separation uh as the uh which is the red and green separation over here as you can see i uh, it might not be clear over here wait let me ha huh. red and green separation uh, like if you are having 3d glasses you can try it on with those and you will feel it that it's in 3d okay then bottom one you can adjust the position of left and right where you want to cut off or like that and you can even rotate rotate means it's like uh yeah and you can add little bit of softness also or you can harshen it okay so ne uh, next uh this float window you can see here which is left top bottom right means from the right side okay see see the difference okay and then we'll come over here to swap and copy so swap grade means if you have graded in one eye for example let me show it for uh left eye because okay left eye i have graded here like this and let me add little bit of color boost uh, and then md little bit of temperature like that if you if you are going to do color uh, curves and all then what you can do go to 3d and here you can do from left to right uh, copy grade or just click on swap grade which will switch the grade okay then here swap shot it will swap the shot okay uh, from left to right like that left eye will go to right eye right eye will go to left eye like that and then here this will uh, this uh, right the color grade will be copied from right to left and this will be from left to right okay then here you okay let's go to next one uh, let's do wait wait one minute so let's create from left to right see it's all synced right now it's saturated md is done like that okay it's great and then here you can see the stereo alignment like stereo alignment is x y z okay so how much depth is there and all it will calculate and transform it it will take some time i have already done it before that's why okay it will align it properly in the space and the last tab over here is color matching so if see for uh, like you have is there is one option up also like grade okay then why this is like color match so like if you are doing primary and secondary color correction there are various options to do and all okay then uh, you can have like custom curves and various others like primaries secondaries you can do all here seeing color matching so here if you click it it will just sync the primaries which is here color wheels primary bars i don't think log log may also work okay then here uh, we have stereo uh, custom curves okay so we have custom curves section over here okay it will match it and then here is stereo color match dense match like properly if you want to do like frame by frame it will just identify the grid from there and it will patch over here okay let's see it recording this may depend upon your gpu or okay and even it takes lot of storage also because if your files are like from left eye is on 1 tb right eye also will be 1 tb and the disk bandwidth also should be high okay please make note of that point and you have to have great cpu for here
which has higher disk bandwidth and all okay gpu comes into play like um, if you are grading and if you are adding uh, fx like uh, resolve fx or ofx and all if you are adding that graphics will be used even in fusion 3d graphics will be used okay in later episodes i'll be soon telling how to convert 2d image to 3d image in davinci resolve 16 so please wait for a while because it's been it's been stuffing here like i have to read i have to uh, respond to comments and uh, not youtube but many of them ask on instagram so yes, i'm managing but my videos are getting delayed so please understand and so now let's talk about exporting in 3d so first of all let's go to the deliver page so going to the uh, export page here you can see I, I am just on custom okay so here there are a lot of options like you might be knowing if you are searching for 3d if you are not searching please check out my previous videos so you can get a detail on how deliver pages works okay so here uh, you can uh, go over to here and I'm just gonna choose mp4 okay mp4 and then here renderer uh, stereoscopic 3d selected both eyes as okay here you can see side by side top and bottom line by line analog graph okay here so uh i'll explain why there are separate files for left and right so if you are playing in a projectors type situation where your uh, like left eye should be different right right eye should be differently feeded into the projector that time you may need separate files so make sure of that if you are doing for like youtube and uh, vimeo that and all uh, will come in analog graph and if you are doing for 3d vr virtual experience like with a headset and all so you can go with uh, side by side because uh, this is the life uh, uh, left eye this is the right eye the depth will be visible there okay now let's just select analog graph okay then almost all the same settings as we know okay oh sorry export audio to add to render queue oh sorry there is a okay one minute three three d x p o r t three d export so click on start render wait for i don't know how much time because it's gonna take time because my graphics card is not so good in handling heavy 3d files so it may take some time depending upon your hard drives and all okay wait 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 you're going now don't go subscribe because many of them have not subscribed i don't know why please do subscribe okay and then uh wait i have got a bonus for you in this episode what is the bonus dolby vision plus 3d okay let's see the f workflow of that one also too in this episode wait wait two minutes let it get exported not two minutes it's you know, five minutes for me is this a sometimes what happens means there may be tearing of images in analog graph i don't know why but i think there might be some tearing of images but when you are doing it in a higher bit rate many reasons which can improve the video quality analog graph is okay but if you want to retain all the details in lower compressed file then you might have to go separate the files then go to software like adobe after effects or uh, something like that or converter and stitch both together as interlaced okay i think you understand that still davinci doesn't has uh, interlaced in color edi uh, color page so i think soon uh, soon update it will come off okay
export complete and now we'll check out some how to do a Dolby Vision workflow with 3D even uh, there is an addition of Dolby Atmos here but what is the main reason why I'm not focusing on Dolby Atmos is now because DaVinci doesn't cur currently doesn't has an export of uh, 7.1.4 Dolby Atmos inbuilt in the software so that's why I'm not concentrating like if you want to export 7.1.4 there are many options but when you want to export in real dot atmos file and config files of uh, dolby atmos then you need to have an rmu or <laughs> just export it to uh, avid uh, mxf files and open it there and export it using the mastering suite of dolby okay so if you haven't watched this video then please do watch it because uh, it will be simplified of how to do and all. I'm just gonna rush now. No, I'm not gonna rush. Okay. So I'm just gonna do it a little faster because I have... Okay. So first of all go to file and then go to project settings and here go to color management and choose color signs to YRGB color manage then check the tick on color space and gamma and go to timeline and uh you can do it uh, rec 2020 also p3d 65 i'm just gonna do with uh, p3d 65 now and you can choose uh the gamma as st2084 same goes over here okay and then enable dolby vision dolby vision version uh currently uh depends on your provider like Mm, for example you are doing for netflix you need to have 2.9 it's like there so but in recent releases of uh, davinci resolve the updates which is like 16 point uh, the new versions like yeah so they have uh 4.1 which converts 4.0 to 2.9 2 2.9 like it has the conversion okay i'm just gonna sit uh stick with 4.0 and then click on save okay you might feel uh, there is like brightness and all so let's go to the color panel in the color panel let's go to the Dolby vision and click on selected you have to wait for a while okay before proceeding that moment I have a cautionary so first uh, in my perspective if you are going with the Dolby vision workflow uh with 3d first of all you need to make sure that uh it's like completely all right okay like first the media pool it's perfectly organized and all then what you need to do is to make sure uh so first you need to come to color page and then click on dolby vision it will analyze it and then go to 3d and do it analograph later on okay first you need to color grid and all color grid and all okay and then sync the colors of left and right then you choose which you want like analog graph side by side is okay you can do it anything but analog graph it chooses like left to uh, and red and green uh if you add dolby vision uh metadata like if you select for analyzing after you applied 3d uh like effect analog graph and all my the green might be solely removed and red might be highly popped so that might be there so please make sure that you are aware of this and i i'm telling you okay okay green might be little suppressed because it's and you can just align or just change the position see the red is here that's all simple then in the export tab as usual go to video here analog graph and then down here here in the tone mapping uh, select Dolby Vision and whichever unit you have chosen and then just go up and see here uh, if you are properly grading and all 
you might want to check this box which is retain sub black and super white data and then data levels to full okay then add to render queue okay just addition of two uh, settings over here two or three okay uh, rather than that it's just the same as how we export the normal footage so just click add to render queue if you want this in IMF edition uh, okay so how it's done is go to IMF here you can choose uh, IMF Kaideco JPEG 2000 Dolby Vision HD which I am having HD now and here it's the same render a scope 3d analog graph and here you can choose the depth the encoding profile I'm going with the auto burn and then you can choose the bitrate and all okay and then just add to render queue uh, shorten and add the render job so that frame count is a multiple of 5 as required by okay so after exporting you will have a file you can go and watch it with 3d on okay so thank you for watching this episode so thank you guys for watching this episode hope you liked it and i'll meet you soon in upcoming episodes so stay tuned stay subscribed and meet you i don't know when i'll meet you uh on youtube so please bell the uh please <laughs> subscribe first then hit the bell icon and click on all notifications okay thank you guys meet you in the next episode Do you know how much moves have you watched in 3D? Comment down in the section below. And which ones have you watched? Which have inspired more you to do in 3D workflows? Comment down below. In the next episode, we are going to talking about Fusion 3D. Okay, that is whole new thing like Fusion 3D or uh, okay 3D stereoscopic okay Fusion 3D stereoscopic how to do and all it's kind of very very new but you might figure it out soon because it's easy not like convert this that and all you just have to have a footage here and little blurry background to add the 3D effect if you want it to be in 3d and we'll just see how to go along okay